The South Korean government has also been busy coming up with anti-terrorism measures in the wake of Friday's terrorist attacks in Paris. To that end, the Korean government and the ruling party have agreed to put aside extra funds for counter-terrorism efforts. Our parliamentary correspondent Chi Myung-gil is at the National Assembly. Now, Myung-gil, this uh, latest decision from a meeting earlier today, it involves the allocation of an extra budget specifically for anti-terrorism measures. Good evening, Konyang. The government and the ruling Sanri Party have agreed to allocate an extra 85 million U.S. dollars for terrorism prevention measures in Korea. This is what the ruling party had to say. I believe the newly allocated budget that we agreed upon with the government will help improve the safety of Korean citizens and enhance national security. The extra budget allocation will be used to purchase five armed high-speed boats, personal weapons for the military and police, equipment to detect biochemical agents, vaccines and bulletproof vests. They also agreed to revise the nation's aviation laws to tighten security at airports and aboard aircraft. The government also plans to revise related legislation to make it mandatory for Korean nationals living overseas to provide fingerprints when entering the country if they plan to stay more than 90 days. They are currently not required to do so. Also, foreigners and Koreans living overseas who depart Korea will have their personal information screened by Korea's Justice Ministry before being given a boarding pass. As part of the planned changes, rival parties activated relevant parliamentary committees on Wednesday to discuss legislating anti-terrorism bills. The country's first anti-terror bill was proposed in 2001 following the U.S. 9-11 attacks and a number of anti-terror bills are still pending at the National Assembly. Kon Young? Right, the approval of those bills will be quite timely now than ever. Uh, thank you, Myung-gil, for that. Our Chi Myung-gil from the National Assembly.